Today on Pennywise, we're here with Senior General Manager of Group Human Resources at NCB, Rickard Allen, talking about HR practices and how they can increase workers' productivity. Mr. Allen, welcome. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about human resources and what it all entails, because some persons just think it's about hiring and firing. Let's look back at the stages of civilization. You started out with the primitive man, you moved through the agricultural age, then you move into industrial age, knowledge age, and now we're so in the creativity age. And therefore, how you manage human beings had to change. So we evolved basically from a personal management process where it was recruitment, um, record keeping, to human resource management, where we have to look at things as training and development, performance management, compensation. And that in itself was necessary because as the technology changed, and the infrastructure is changing, we have to make sure that we are ahead of the game. So therefore, human resource management is not just looking at a recruitment or a record keeping function. It's far, far wider than that. We have to make sure that we are aligned to the, to the, to the business strategies and not just aligned and being business partners, but we have to be business drivers. So you get things coming into play now like workforce analytics, where we have to do a lot of uh, statistical analysis in order to understand how different variables affect the business so we can predict and give the business an opportunity to make sure that they are profitable. So we are fully aligned to our um, business strategies. And if you look at what drives us, or our mission statement, our vision statement, which one you very prefer, we speak about mobilizing the human capital that will have the conviction to invent the future so that NCB is sustainable. So we talk about human capital, that is basically talking about the productive capacity of the human resources so that they can have the conviction, they're talking about engaging them so that they can invent the future. You're talking about innovation and creativity for sustainability that will give you the profitability. So human resource management for us is very comprehensive. And we see ourselves as strategic business drivers, not just business partners, but drivers. We continuously make sure that we provide an, an atmosphere and an environment that will keep people engaged. And that's why we do engagement surveys. We did, we did one last year. We have our NCB Group HR intranet where employees can go and look at policies. They can look at things that affect them from what's the disciplinary policy. They can look at even things that where they should shop because we want to make sure that they don't have to go to a manager or a supervisor in order to get information. We are providing them that at their fingertips. Also, our learning strategy. We have just um, created what we call a corporate learning campus, which is a corporate university. We have been registered as a tertiary institution. And what we have done is have four schools of learning and those schools of learning are driven by learning councils and they are aligned to the business strategy. For example, we talk about profitable business growth. We have a school of wealth management, credit and risk. We talk about superior customer service. We have a school of client service. We talk about efficient operation. We have a school of banking and technology. And we talk about effective development of our people. And that is a school of ILAD, leadership and development. So what we do is align our HR practices to the business strategy. So that interaction and seamless interaction is what we think will give us the ability to survive and sustain the business. How has NCB used innovation and technology in HR to recruit, train and develop employees in order to meet the business and leadership needs for the future of the company? We have an online recruitment system which um, um, applicants can go online search for existing vacancies, and our HR officers can then go online to determine who matches the competencies for the job that we have there in order that we can have a quick turnaround time and facilitate us in not using a lot of paper, which is um, common to the traditional sources of people writing resumes and sending to National Commercial Bank. When you go online and you put up your resume, it's very, it's very user-friendly, it walks you through then there's an initial matching there, and then it's short slits, and we look at it at the end of the day to determine who will invite for the particular interview for the job that we put online. 
given the current global financial situation where people are being laid off and you know people are taking pay cuts etc how can you encourage hr persons to really uplift their employees increase productivity and engage in staff training the hr manager or practitioner of the future has to make sure that they understand the whole business of analytics because no longer can we come to the table talking about we think and we feel. We have to do a certain amount of analysis. And workforce analytics is one thing that we practice in NCB to do our workforce planning. We do a lot of analysis of data. For example, our sickness absence. We know that our sickness absence percent benchmark is supposed to be 1.33 percent, which is about three to four days. Because what we do, we look at benchmark companies of similar size in the financial industry. And that ideally should be your sickness absence. So we're saying, hey, to the field, to the line, if you exceed that, you need to start to look what is causing that because sometimes sickness absences is not due to people being very sick. It might be telling you about how engaged they are, it might be telling you about whether or not they, they, they have the, they, they, um, the right attitude. So it starts to inform a lot of things. So when the HR practitioner of the future has to be of that value to the business for them to get the, the recognition that they need. So analytics is, is very important. Um, statistical modeling. We need to understand how turnover affects the business. We just don't look at turnover as an absolute number because sometimes you might have a low turnover and it's bad for the business because you're retaining people who should have gone. And if you have a high turnover also, it might be telling you that your environment, your climate is not what it ought to be. So there are a lot of things that the HR practitioner of the, currently and of the future will have to consider. How, what type of learning and development strategy they have. Um, we, for example, in NCB have what they call a, um, a blended strategy where we combine um, instructor-led training with a virtual portal. We have an e-campus which has a learning which employees can access from home. Also, that e-campus has a e library. There are over 2,200 periodicals in that library. An NCB employee gets a copy of the Harvard Business Review. review sorry before it is published, because it can go online and get it. So we have e-campus, we have e-learning, and we have e-books. For example, when we send persons away on courses, they come back and they create an e-book. Even persons within their own expertise here can create an e-book and put it online. So it makes it available to other employees across the enterprise to, to satisfy. So a lot of combination of things, because we have to watch our costs. Remember I talk about, um, profitable business growth. We have to understand our costs because the only control we have, I mean, we have control on our costs. We don't have control of our revenues. We will try as best as possible to increase our revenue, but our costs is what we have control over. So we make sure that the foundation of value creation, which is the human resources, is so well developed and engaged that we can be able to make the business profitable. It was our pleasure to share with you today in Pennywise. Join us next week as we conclude our conversation with Mr. Allen.